in this discussion you can see dead data type field brief in case you missed previous video about text data type field please check link is available in description date field is very important fields in any kind of business application odoo provides the field name establish date so here we have to use like fields dot that and then after string as a label name like this and odoo provides the support like y y y y then after dash month has a mm and dash and dd so this is the basic format of date field we will save these changes copy this one going to view part because we have display from gui and we have to use a field and name attribute here we have to give field name and over this tag restart the service because changed in python file going to browser go to apps finding that module and try to upgrade this one once this will upgrade it will automatically add this date field into database as well as you can see it will appear into form this form view here you can see this is a like simple kind of uh, combo box but when you click here it will give you this uh, date field you have to add this date save so this is a front end format and from back end side you can see previously i saw you this format will save like you will get data like this this is background like this is back end format and this one is a front end format so don't miss that one so let's add some extra attributes uh, this is a tool tip and uh, it, an attribute name is a health this please select establish this tool save restart the service and no need to upgrade because we all change in python side and when i will hover to this uh, this level so you can see this tooltip one more attribute is read only and data type support as a boolean once you will apply this attribute and when you will refresh this page now try to edit user having some restriction to edit this field so this is basically this is a read only data sometimes specific field need to required field from user side so you can just use required equal to true then after restart the service refresh the page and edit it you can see the color also change background color and if i will try to remove this one i am trying to save here you can see at the establishment date should be mandatory until unless i will i must have to select this field and then and then like odoo will store the data next one is like default attribute uh, that attribute help you like while create any report 
so the time like a default value should be appear here so we will use like fields dot day dot today you can see this is our current date so like this you can use a uh, default attribute and uh, either you can add from directly here let's we will create method also so you will having uh, some good idea get default default underscore there then after return fields dot there dot to there so right now i am not doing any condition uh, this case is only for you to test based on your requirement so here you can do any test cases and based on that you will return date format only if you will like uh, return any non dead format it will rise error and here we have to use a lambda keyword i hope you will have better idea about lambda lm and after lm dot default establish there that's it and we have to just refresh uh, restart the service and again try to click on create here you can see this format let's do like a, let's return something else like a abc and refresh the patch see auto will raise this error message because ABC does not match this format but yes one more thing either you can use boolean or you can use like none type these two uh, these two data type will support while return the default value and by default it's in false refresh the page you can see here it's a none field uh, when we change in python side uh, now we will move to xml side and add the same attributes in xml side so first of all we will remove from python side all the attributes going here and if you want to override uh, override uh, this establishment there you can use any other uh, other name as a label name you can also do it using like this as a string edited there but here we don't need to restart the service only what we have to do is we have to upgrade the module otherwise it won't be work so we need to wait for the upgrade going to school and here you can see edited that after like uh, for somehow uh, you need to add the required field here required equal to one so you have to remember one thing is here we are using required equal to one in xml side but uh, previously we used here required equal to true so both cases are the same like one is true and zero means false so first of all we will try to zero so zero means it's there is no any effect so first of all we will restart the service so it will have some idea 
here you can see this is not required field and right now we are using require using one right now I'm just upgrading here minus u and uh, our module name refresh the page you can see here this is required field now and if you want to unrequired this field you can just simply change as zero restart the service and upgrade the module so you can see here so you have to remember is zero means false and one is true so same as we will also use read only so re while you are using read only uh, that time like that field is not editable anyhow from browser so that time like we are restarting the service and upgrade the module now time to refresh the page and you can see you can't edit anything one more command is invisible command while using this one uh, this field you can see while uh, read only you can't edit here so while using invisible uh, this field uh, including label name also hide from GUI side so restart the service and upgrade the module refresh the page you can see here the effect like label name plus uh, that text box is disappeared So that's it for now. In case you have any doubt, please comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in next video.